So we saw that delta G standard is related to delta G of a reaction. Now let's look at how it's related to the equilibrium constant. So we can write that the delta G of a reaction is equal to delta G standard plus RT log of Q, where Q is the reaction quotient. And if we imagine, what does this look like at equilibrium? Well, if we're at equilibrium, we can say a couple of things. First of all, the delta G is going to be zero, right? Because the reaction doesn't have a tendency to go forward or backwards. All right. What about the reaction quotient? Well, the reaction quotient is the product of the reactants of the, of the uh, it's the it's the products activities over the reactants activities raised to the appropriate uh, coefficient exponents. Well, we give that a special name if we're at equilibrium. We call it the equilibrium constant. And so we can rearrange this. So we had, let me just rewrite this. So this is what we had. We had that delta G is equal to delta G standard plus RT log of K if we're at equilibrium. And so we can rearrange this to say delta G standard is equal to negative RT log of K equilibrium. And this gives us the real meaning of delta G standard for a reaction. We know delta G standard for a reaction does not tell us whether or not a reaction is spontaneous. Only delta G can do that. But it can tell us about the size of the equilibrium constant. So we can see that if we have a reaction with delta G standard being negative, that's only going to be true if this is only going to be negative if this is positive, and this is only going to be positive if this is greater than 1. So let's go ahead and write that. That means that K equilibrium is greater than 1. And conversely, if we have a delta G standard that is a positive number, that means we have a small equilibrium constant, one that's less than one. Okay? Let's take a second here to just define equilibrium constant. A formal definition of the equilibrium constant is that the product of the activities of all the reactants and products at equilibrium taken to their stoichiometric coefficients. So, for instance, if we had 2A goes to 3B, we would say that K equilibrium is equal to the activity of B at equilibrium cubed over the activity of A at equilibrium squared. Okay, so of course these are equilibrium concentrations, or rather activities. Of course the activity could be related to the, it would be equal numerically to the concentration if we are in, if we have an ideal solution.